This video today is for you guys. I'm going to take it up an extra notch and I'm going to provide you something really special. Today is a complete seven day meal plan that comes with all the calories, all of the macros planned out, all of the recipes and the entire shopping list that you need to get started. I'm going to show you how to make all of the recipes for the meal plan right now. So we're going to start with some buttery steak and broccoli. So grab a head of broccoli and cut up all the florets off the actual bro broccoli head and you're going to steam them for about 10 to 15 minutes just until they are tender. Place them on a plate and then we're going to get started with the steak. So you're going to salt both sides of the steak. Be very liberal with the salt. Don't be scared of the salt, especially on the ketogenic diet. And you're going to heat up a frying pan to very hot. And then place it in and we're going to sizzle it for about two or three minutes each side the scrambled eggs with avocado. So you're going to crack three eggs into a bowl and mix it around. Um, you're going to add some salt and pepper and you're going to cut up half an avocado and heating up a frying pan, putting some butter into the frying pan. This is just a fantastic meal for breakfast and it's really, really nutritious. So this is a lamb chop and we're going to make a feta salad with this as well. So do exactly the same you would with the steak with the lamb chop. Uh, get about a cup of spinach and you're just going to crumble some uh, either Danish or Greek feta over the top and mix it all together. Now I'm not sure whether you've steamed chicken before but this is a really simple way to do it. So you want to steam it in there for about five minutes each side and put the uh, Asian greens on top of it. So for breakfast you're going to start off with an avocado smoothie which is basically a cup of spinach, a cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of chia seeds, uh, some ginger which contrasts nicely with the avocado, uh, half an avocado and a tablespoon of coconut oil and blend that until it's really really well mixed together. Bunless cheeseburgers are really easy to make. Put some cheese on it when you flip it over. We're just going to cut up some onions and a little bit of tomato as well. And you've got a leaf of an iceberg lettuce. Put all of the ingredients inside. So you've got some mustard there. You put the beef patty with the melted cheese on top. Wrap that all up and it seriously tastes like the best cheeseburger you've ever had. Throw out the taco seasoning because tacos are basically a mix of paprika and cumin. You're just going to spoon the mince into there, add some tomato and a little bit of shredded cheese and some sour cream in there and you have a perfect taco. Cobb salads are really delicious and all you need to do is cook up some bacon, also boil an egg, cut up some lettuce, some cherry tomatoes in there using the bacon that you've previously cooked and you want to cut the egg that's a perfect Cobb salad that's really really delicious. Sesame beef coleslaw or otherwise known as crack slaw is basically just some coleslaw mix, some vinegar, some soy sauce, some sriracha sauce and a whole bunch of sesame seed oil and you're just going to cook all of that down. Ribeye with Brussels sprouts, you're just going to cut up a whole bunch of Brussels sprouts, add some paprika, some olive oil, and you're going to bake that for about 20 minutes in the oven, and it's going to come out really, really delicious.